Hi, I'm Lisa Wooding. Hi, I'm Chloe Rogers. And we're off to the Beijing Olympics with the GB women's hockey team. And today we've come back to visit our old school, Helena Romanas. Well, a little bit nervous because I know they're going to be speaking in front of a load of kids, but really, really excited because it's lovely to go back. I think it was 10 years since I've been back there, which is, seems an awful long time. There's still some staff there that I know, so it'd be really nice to see them. Going back to secondary school, it should be um, interesting to see a few old faces, and obviously they're, they're pleased to have seen us develop and go through the school. Lucky enough, each year they have a Colours Award. They have someone come present them, obviously an ex-sports star or a current sports star. And I was lucky enough, one of the years I was there, we had a Karen Brown, ex-GB international hockey player. You were, I think went to definitely uh, two, if not three, Olympics and the most capped hockey player ever. So uh, uh, to hear about her experiences and the fact she actually won an Olympic medal, is, uh, it was great for me as a student. So hopefully we can inspire some people along the same sort of lines. Extremely nervous, yeah, more than uh, when I play hockey, yeah. Right, over to uh, Lisa and Chloe. Welcome. <laughs> This is Chloe Rogers and I'll let her quickly introduce herself. Um, hi, I've had a similar path to Lisa. Uh, I played hockey when I was kind of first year of primary school, so five, six. Drink! Drink. Who said that? Up you come. <laughs> okay, after all our hard work and training, what else do you need? Sleep. Sleep! Who said that? Up you come. <laughs> But we've been to Argentina and Australia and stuff to try and get used to playing in the heat. So we, you know, we, we should have enough experience under our belts to be able to, um, to perform in that environment. As to the atmosphere, I've got absolutely no idea, having never been to Olympics, but I just can't wait to see what it's going to be like. Huge amount of credit goes to um, Lisa's mum, Carol Wooding, who was the hockey coach here for a number of years, and she oversaw the development of the hockey at this school, which saw a huge amount of national success, and it also obviously culminated in the success for um, Lisa and Chloe. Yes, you could see that they've got the talent. It's very difficult with your own daughter to know, because also we hadn't gone through with Lisa um, at that stage. So when Lisa had gone through right the way through to England, was playing England seniors, and then I saw Chloe, you could then see with Chloe that she'd got the talent to, um, well, apparently I predicted that she was going to play in the Olympics. Well, I suppose it's nice to think that I thought that um, I could pick some talent out, but you come across children, it's not, some haven't got the ability or don't want to do the work, they just want the glory but not willing to do the work, which these two are willing to do. It's encouraged me to try and follow my dream, basically. Uh, football. The fact that they had come from our school and that they had come so far in their life. Yeah, it's, it's like really inspired me. Yeah, it's just like follow, just go, just go catch your dream. Really, just follow the dreams you want to do. If you're not dedicated and committed to con to be able to compete at that level, you know you're never going to make it. You've got to be right from from when you're younger. You've got to be, you know, 100% into your sport and and do everything you possibly can to to achieve your dreams and. Um, I have done that and I am achieving my dreams, it can be done and that's what we were trying to highlight. You know, there was two of us there today which were sat in that very same hall looking at, you know, we had people came in to inspire us when we were there. Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, obviously it has a significance for me because I used to be head of PE here and I actually had the pleasure of teaching both of them but to see the um, looks on children's faces, the hall packed of um, our sports award winners, to hear two, two students who formerly went to the school has been amazing. And I think the children have really enjoyed having that experience.